You can choose first with Ace. Ace is definitely S tier. S tier. Uh, Best hard breacher. I agree. Good, good, great gun. Where I'm putting Ace. Yep. Yeah, best hard breacher, easy to get past. Bandit tricking, not so much cage tricking, but cage tricking is hard to do anyways. And you got claymores. I mean, smokes would be nice, but claymores work. So I'll go next with Amaru, and I'm going to put Amaru at B, just because she can't be fun with strats. Guns are alright. People love to use shotgun. I can't use shotgun at all. Never works for me. But planning through hatches and whatnot is fun. Yeah, Mario C for me, just because I don't use her ever. She is fun if I'm just messing around. Yeah. But she's not really the best for strats. Unless very... her whole strat is to just take them off guard. They're, yeah, it's very situational with strats. You know, if you have hatches to go through, you know, bank, going from basement hatch into open area, that's one. Yeah. Uh, the one on cafe going from freezer hatch up to dining room or whatever it's called. Yeah. Alright, you want to go next on Ash? Ash would be B tier just because she got good guns, but and she's fast. But she's not really like a vital pick for a team. Yeah, it used to be. I am going to put B as well, just because the guns are good. I like certain certain maps and whatnot. I like using all the soft destruction. Oregon's one, or at least when I'm attacking top site. But still, overall, fun op to use. All right. Blackbeard's next. I'm putting Blackbeard at D. Not going to give him F, but D, just because uh, there's one site in particular I like to use Blackbeard, and it's fun. It's out back when you're attacking the bedrooms. I just go on, sit on bathroom window and just pick them off. I think Blackbeard is an F for me just because... Like, wah, wah. First F. If both of his guns are bad, in my opinion. Yeah. A lot of people like the DMR. I usually use the MK16 or whatever it's called. I used I, to use DMR. Just I'm not good with DMRs anymore. <laughs> yeah. I, I've i kind of gotten to where I can't use DMRs either. His shield's so bad, though. That's the other part that's bad. But... I uh, Blitz is next. I uh, forgot. You know, an F for sure. Yeah, yeah. that's where I find yeah. Blitz. Blitz is F for me. I mean, I think there's some fun strats you can do with just rushing in. I know a lot of pro teams will rush, or well, not maybe not a lot of the teams will, but I know pro players will like to rush Blue Elbow on Oregon. But every time I try to use Blitz, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I just die. I literally yeah, just die. I have the worst luck with Blitz. It's a little And rough. he's one of the worst ops, in my opinion. He's just so annoying. And plus, he's annoying to play against. It's one of those ops that I can't use, but other people that use them against me shit on me every single time. It's like the Amaru shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> Right, I'm going next with Brava. I'm going to put Brava... Uh, I don't know. I don't use Brava a whole lot. But I think I'm going to put Brava B. I don't use her a whole lot, but I like her gadget. I like the idea of the gadget. I like her guns. I like her loadout. I just don't use her, her very often. I think it's just because... The area ranked I'm in, and usually solo or duo queuing, like, you have to spend so much time on drones. And, like, it can work out, but if you're playing against people that's just super aggressive on defense, it's really not that useful because, one, they're not going to be trapped. you end up in a 1v5. 
Yeah, they're not going to use trap ops or they're not really going to use cameras. So it's a good one to keep and pull out when, the, you know, they're going trap heavy or going intel heavy. Yeah, B for me too, just because really good gun. Uh, I love the gadget idea. It's just the drone is so clunky that it's so easy for the defenders to shoot. They, nobody can be around when you hack something or they're yeah. just going to shoot it. Yeah. All right, you want to go next on Buck? Uh, Buck? I don't use Buck a whole lot, but I would say he's probably A tier. Just because probably the best soft breacher. Okay, now we're going on your personal taste. All right. Yeah. So you're going to say A? Yeah, I'm going to say A. I like both of his guns. Uh, he has hard breach crashers, doesn't he? Uh, yes. I think it's hard so breach get... and uh, Stenton. So he's perfect for vertical play. And I, I just don't play vertical play very often, but I, I do think that he's probably an A tier. Yeah. Uh, I am going to disagree by a couple tiers. I'm putting Buck at C. Boing. Uh, I don't know. I kind of get where you're coming from with with being one of the best soft destruction vertical. I mean, there's really only two ops that are really good for that. Uh, the shotgun is good because you don't have to be right on the floor and you can kind of have some distance so if people's waiting on it, you don't just get shot right away. Yeah. And the hard bridge gadgets do help and his gun is pretty good. I do like the C8. But for me, I, I just think vertical. I'm choosing Sledge over Buck. And if, I don't know, maybe if he had his nades still, that might be one thing. But Yeah. I don't know. A C is where I'm going to put him. And then Capitals next for me. I'm going to put... Uh, I'm putting a lot of stuff in B, but that's where I'm going to put Capital. Uh, I like his gun. I like his gadget. He's really a really good all-in-one op. Because uh, he has hard bridge gadgets too. He's perfect for solo queuing. I just don't use them very often. I really need to use them more. Yeah, I agree. I've been using him a lot lately, and he I think he's an A tier. You can put him A. He, you don't even have to utilize his gadgets for him to be good. He's got yeah. a good gun. He's fast. Both of his ga or his his gadget does work well. Yeah, you can get in there and get the plant down, you can smoke off stuff. And then he has what claymore and hard breach gadgets, so yeah, he's very versatile for sure. Yeah. All right, you wanna go next on Doke? Dokebi, Dokebi. I think Dokebi's barely a C. <laughs> mm -hmm, so Just because her gadget's good. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't like her guns. I think her guns are trash. Definitely the boss juice trash. Uh, is it the MK14? Yeah, MK14. It's a it's a good DMR. It's, like I said, I'm not, I don't use DMRs. So I like the DMRs. Uh, I'm so so on DMRs. Recently, it seems like I can't hit my shots with DMRs. So for that, I'm putting C. Uh, just because Intel up. Uh, Get those phones ringing. It can help. But then you're also relying on the game's audio, which we all know to be a little iffy. Yeah, that ain't no joke. All right, I'm next with Finca. Uh, where do I put Finca? I'm going to put Finca D, just because the LMG nerf. I mean, she was her strongest with the LMG buff and with nades. And, but... and losing nades, yeah. So they really get, did her dirty. Get, yeah, you get the LMG nerf and the nades gone. I mean, she has the gone. Her other gun's good, too. Didn't they nerf the spear as well? Didn't they make the recoil harder on that? Did they? <laughs> did they just double down on Finka? I, I mean, I, I could be wrong. Bit. That was just the straight up meta. Just have your entry to go Finca. I mean, her gadget's good. Gives everyone a heal boost. Yeah. 
I, I think that's the main reason I would put her at D and not F is just because her yeah. gadget's good. Yeah, if you're doing so, you're putting D. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, if you're doing like a rush strat or something like that, it's good to bring. And like the LMG is not awful. It's just not as good as what it used to be. Like, yeah. Like it used to be a laser beam, and I was just messing around with it earlier. And I don't know. At first, I'm like, oh, it's not that bad. But it's that thing after you shoot for a while, it starts to get pretty bad. Yeah. Okay, where do you want to put Flores? I think Flores. I think he's A tier. Put A. Yeah, I I like his drones. I think they're useful. They might not be useful for every site. I mean, they kind of can be useful for every site. Just get in there and blow up shit like quick. Yeah. Super strong on hookah coastline just because that's usually the majority of where stuff is put and it's easier to get access to those to blow them up. Yeah. And then the AR-33 is a good gun. Yeah. A lot of people use the other gun. Is it the SR-25? Uh, Blackbeard DMR. Yeah. I, I agree with everything you said. I put A as well just because drones are good. It's useful. You get flashes, good gun. He gets claymores as well, I think. Does he get claymores? Yeah, so good utility. Get in there. Especially with Twitch being the way Twitch is right now. Flores is... is a lot. I would rather choose Flores than Twitch. Yeah. Okay, Fuse... I don't know. I think Fuse... I'm actually going to put A. I actually have okay. fun using Fuse. He has a good gun. He has... Well, yeah, he has one good gun. The other one... It's the same LMG as Finca. Yeah, it's Finca. Used to be really good. Uh, has a shield if you really want to bring another shield. Yeah, that's only but, good for Strat Roulette if you're going shields only. Yeah. Uh, Gadget's really good. Destroy a lot of utility. Uh, another good solo queue op. Because he has hard breach gadgets. So, you know, one room that I'm thinking of is games on Oregon. You know, repel up to that window. Use a fuse charge. Get off the bandit or the cade or the mute or whatever. And then go into closet and get it with a hard breach gadget. So yeah. if you solo queue and you don't have to rely on someone to help you get wall. So, I like using fuse. Plus, it's, Plus, he can go through our walls now. Yeah, and hatches and everything. And <clears throat> it's always fun whenever you get a fuse charge kill on someone. Yeah. Uh, I think I'd go B, just because that man is the heftiest boy in hey. all of Seed. <laughs> My God. He is, he is a little chunky, isn't he? He's so loud. Yeah. And playing vertical people are just, they can literally just see for you just by sound yeah on certain floors yeah you get into a clutch situation it's <laughs> they're yeah. gonna they're gonna know where you're coming from and when you're coming and i feel like especially like certain areas when you're playing vertical you have to clear that top floor and it takes half the round so getting off all your fuse charges it takes pretty much the whole round yeah if you're going on a floor it's a little rough because you have to make sure you don't have anyone on your ass or anything like that especially coastline yeah all right where are you putting glass at ah my boy glass we're gonna give him a b um oh really okay i like using glass it seems unnecessary to put nades on him but i still sometimes throw nades on there just because it, it's weird with Glass because they slowed him down because they didn't want him being used as an entry. Yeah. Which they kind of reverted that. But they slowed him down because they didn't want him to be used as an entry and then gave him nades. Which, I mean, I yeah. guess just because you have nades, you're not an entry. But Yeah. Uh, since they did buff the uh, SMG that he, I don't know which one it is. Uh, that they gave him yeah it's habanas yeah this is the nova supernova nine or no that's the shotgun okay. I, I forget what the smg is called yeah i don't know but 
it's a better it, when you get in those situations where you don't need to use the DMR. It's easier to pull out, kind of like a SMG eleven is. Yeah, it's not as bad as an SMG SMG twelve that because that one's god awful. Yeah, uh, I'm actually gonna put him in D. He's a Dang. fun. He's a fun. That was your player. main. That was your boy back in the uh, day. I mean, that was how many years ago? Like three or four. And that was on controller. Yeah, that was probably five years ago. I don't know. Just recently, me trying to use him, it might be the fact that I haven't been able to hit my DMR shots. And he's, you know, he has the sniper on him. The smoke change, uh, the way it is now, it's a lot better than what it was. Uh, I used to always have smokes. I'll bring nades if I know my team's going to have a bunch of smokes. Or a cappy tower or something like that. Uh, it's fun running it with sense. Like, you have somebody playing sense. That's... Yeah, that combo can be good. It's just uh, every time I play sense, it seems like everyone just runs Run. through the wall. Yeah. So for he, sure. he's a D for now. I might have to try playing him a little bit more. Plus, you know, there's certain sites you don't want to bring. Glass. Yeah, for sure. All right, gridlock. I am going to put. I, don't, I think I'm going to put A. Just because good guns, good gadget, can have smokes. So just a good op. Uh, the three armor does kind of suck, but I wish they would reuse her primary definitely, gun. Definitely thick lock for sure. Yeah. So I'll put A. I don't use her very often, but it's a fun op to use. All right, you ready for the hot take? You're going S, aren't you? It's S tier for me. <laughs> okay, well, you said hot take. I'm like, there ain't no way he's going lower than A, because I know you play... No, you know, it's not a no hot take. I love Gridlock. She is... She's got... Her LMG's all right, but the, her main primary gun is so good. Yeah, it's a laser beam. She's got... Doesn't she have the Gon 6? I'm pretty sure she's got a Gon 6. I believe so. She might... She's got does she still smoke? have the super shorty? She does have the super shorty, Which, yeah. I haven't, you know, I'm acting like that's a big deal. I don't know how often on attacking you need something like that. Yeah, it comes I, in I, handy, like, if you're trying to just uh, break a soft hatch or something. Yeah, it bring, yeah, it brings soft destruction, I guess. But a Gon 6 is also really nice. So. Yeah, get rid of shields, but I love good luck. Yeah, I mean, it might be a hot take that we both have her up that high. Some people... Yeah, most people literally hate gridlock so yeah. much, but I think her, I think the track stingers actually do way more damage than people think they do. Yeah. They're easy to get rid of, but yeah. if you're sitting there like holding an angle and they're shooting at the ground, you're gonna kill them. Yeah. Plus, certain situations, you know, it, you got the plant down, you're just sitting back watching, and you got like yeah. ten seconds left, so you got to get to the diffuser and start diffusing. You're not going to be looking at the ground unless you have everyone dead. Yeah. And, I mean, that could either waste their time or it could kill them. Because, I mean, depending on how, how much they have to walk through, it could take a lot of damage. Yeah. All right. You want to go with Grim now? Um, I think he got better. Uh, I think I'd put him at B. B. Yeah, I, I don't use them as much. Great gun. Uh, the gadget, I think, is good. He's good for post-plant, for sure, for the intel. And he definitely needed the buff. Definitely needed the buff. Yeah, I am going to put him A. Um, it was an op when he came out. I was just like, this is trash. This is probably one of the worst ops they've released in a long time. But after... The recent season, his buffs. I mean, I use him for going into plant because as long as you have someone watching, if they walk through that, they're gonna get shot. So you can cut off rotates, you can cut off any swings, get in plant, and then he has five of those. So you can yeah, that's a lot. Use like two or three, get in and plant. Then you have two more that you can kind of play back and then kind of just shoot the diffuser, and they last so long now. So I think he got a lot better. And he had, he has a good gun. So I I've been enjoying playing him a lot. Is his other gun a shotgun? 
Uh, Isn't it Ulster maybe? Shotgun? Maybe. I think so. No, that's Ace. That's Ace that has that hung on. Yeah, I don't. Shoot, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. I just used the. Uh, is it the 552 Commando? It's IQ's gun. Yeah. Yeah, I just used that one with the 1.5. I need to try the 2.0. I, I don't know. I usually favor the 1.5 over the 2.0. I think I used the 2.0 on it. I need to try it out. Alright, I'm gonna go Habana next. Um. I know there for a little bit of Bonham was my favorite. I'm gonna go E though. Her gun's good. I wish it had I think it's twenty one. I wish it was twenty six. I think that would help a lot. I love yeah. the one point five on it. She has stuns. I think smokes would be better. The biggest thing is I just wish she had some sort of I don't know. They need to buff her gadget somehow. It needs yeah. to either be you can preset a certain pattern, like a a four by eight crouch hole that you can make, or something like that. I have a bunch of different preset things that you can go through. That way, it does it all at once. Yeah, or, instead of having to shoot three times to make a hole that you can actually get yeah, through. or make it as soon as you shoot the wall, they automatically start on their own. That way, yeah, because it takes forever for that guy. Yeah, because if you shoot and then put more and shoot again it makes like because i'm thinking with like if someone has impact emps then you know i think it takes longer to get habana stuff off to where you actually can crouch through or something if you're using an impact emp because then the gadgets come on and just destroys everything yeah but she's great yeah. for hatches if you don't have to deal with a k great for hatches yeah uh for me it's an f <laughs> An F? Yep. Damn. Yeah. I, where's Hard Breacher? Hard Breach gadgets are better. Damn. No, yeah, no I, credit that's another for... hot take. That's another hot take. <laughs> no credit for for the gun or anything. Shit. The guns, it's all right. I mean, you, you're just mad because you can't control it. That's all. It, I mean. That's true. No, it's I'm not joking. even that I can't control it. I, I can't lock onto somebody and kill them in 21 bullets <laughs> i need more bullets <laughs> yeah yeah like i said 26 bullets would be great all right you're going next for iana uh a tier probably yeah a -tier. i think our gadget's actually pretty good because it gives you intel uh pretty much I, I don't know how long it takes to reset it seems like it only takes like 15 20 seconds to reset yeah it doesn't take very long so it's like endless amounts of intel that you can get and great gun great guns uh, actually mm -hmm. uh, and she has nades I, I think she's just a great op yeah I am actually putting Iona S tier for me I like using Iona both her guns are really good ARX is another one I think should be 26 because I believe it's only 21 I think it was 26 and then they lowered it to 21 because how good it was but you pretty much have unlimited drones because you lose your two drones and then you can go about with her gadget. Two good guns. She has nades. I think she is the best entry that there is right now. Probably. I would agree to that. Yeah. I'm just not an entry person. That's why she's an NA and stuff and S. Alright. IQ is next. I... I don't use IQ ever anymore. I don't know. I'm going to put C just because it's situational for me. It's just, I think IQ's probably, it has a good gun, has a good gadget, especially with the buff of being able to kind of ping and you see stuff and it tells you what it is and stuff like that. It's just, I think the biggest thing with IQ is the introduction of Flores and Cali and Impact EMPs. There's really not a whole lot of use for IQ. Yeah, there's really the, not. The biggest thing is when there is uh, cams being used, like Valk, Valk Echo, yeah. or stuff like that. Because if you know someone's hiding them, you want to bring an IQ to try to sweep and get rid of it. I think that's the main reason why a lot of proteins still use her. 
I can also see... I'm surprised she didn't get more play, which there could have been some pro teams doing it. But more play after Brava's release. That way you can try to hunt him down for Brava to take control of. That's true, yeah. But has a good gun. I like using her. It's just I don't find a whole lot of use for her anymore. Yeah, I think I'd go C tier as well. I think both of her guns are... or She has about three primaries. I think all three are decent. Because oh, she has yeah. the AUG, she has the LMG, and then she has the Commando. Wait. I don't think IQ has an LMG. She has the same one as Amaru. Oh, that's right. I wasn't thinking about that being an LMG. Yeah, you're right. Holy shit. She does, she does have three really good guns. <laughs> yeah. The AUG is... Yeah, it's Some all people right. can use it with the ACOG. I, I'd have to go like hollow or something. I just, it just, it's clunky and weird on that gun. Yeah. You know, it would make her better though. Nades. Nades would make her better. Nades would make her better, especially since she can see people on their phones and stuff. Yeah. She'd probably be the best nade from below person. Yeah. I think they're not going to do that just because she used to have nades. And it made her really strong, and it would make her really, really strong now. Yeah. Yeah, that would be... That would be... That'd probably take her up to an A, probably. <laughs> yeah. What about giving her, like, a secondary shotgun? Like the Bailiff? I know they just did that with Grim, but something to where she can make holes through floors. See, the Bailiff, in my opinion, you have to be so close for it to make a hole that's worth making. Yeah. Well, maybe, like, so, the Super Shorty. The Jackal sh side shotgun. Oh, Yeah that one or the super shorty either one because then that makes you decide if you want to play her for like vertical play to you know shoot stuff that way because you take away her pistol which you you know you can find it make a hole through the floor and then shoot it with your primary gun. i guess it would be kind of hard for them to animate the gadget with a shotgun oh because she puts the gadget yeah. above the pistol yeah i wasn't even thinking about having it out yeah never mind I see why they don't go shotgun. This is why I'm not a designer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're next with Jackal. Uh, Jackal, I think, is A, uh, even though you literally never can play him in ranked. Yeah. Because he's banned every match. But I think his gadget's good. I think he's got two really good guns. Yeah. He's also got the side shotgun. And I think he has Lamar's... And smoke? smokes, I believe that's right. I know it smokes for sure. That's what I always bring. Now I, I do find it annoying if I have my gadget on and I get shot at that I can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna put Jackal B, uh, just cause guns are really good. Both of the guns I usually use. Uh, I mean, he's got three guns, but or well, his main <laughs> one and the PDW. I forgot what yeah. the main one's called. I use I the main one just because I have a Astralis skin for it, but the PDW I really like. Uh, his biggest thing is between all of his nerfs, you know, the visor getting staticky, and unless you're working with a really coordinated team, his gadget's so so. I mean, unless yeah, you get a roamer it... out on the other side of the map, yeah, that's good to know, but that's why I don't yeah, think. Yeah, the pings are kind of like far away usually. Yeah, that's why I'm surprised he's still banned so much because, I don't know, it's not that hard to get around, but, like, maps that you roam a lot on, like Cafe or something like that, I can see why you still ban him, but a lot of people, that's just an auto ban. Yeah, Probably for sure. Forever. It's just stuck in people's mind. Just like Thatcher's still banned all the time. Yeah. Even though it shouldn't be an auto ban anymore. Yeah. Certain places like Chalet, The Garage, Thatcher's probably really strong on yeah but also people just run cali for that yep and cali's actually the next op and cali <gasps> goes to f for me it's just it's just because it's just her gadget can be useful you just gotta know if it's top bottom if it's off to the side depending on far off mainly for cades it might be a little rough gun i'm not very good with that gun other people seem to slam me all the time, so it's another one of those ops I can't use, but everyone else can. I think she's a C for me, just because I enjoy playing her. I, I have fun trying to snipe people. Gives you that 
Call of Duty feel. Yeah, I, I just like sniping, and yeah. she's not the greatest. Uh, her little SMG is kind of decent if you have to go inside. Yeah, uh, it can be good. But she's she's her gadgets. It's good. I mean, it destroys the stuff instead of just delays them. So that's awesome. All right, lines the next one. I'd probably say B. I think his gadget's good. I think his gun's good. And I, I think he's just a pretty decent op all around. I'm going to bump him up one and put him A. I like using Lion. Good gadget. You can coordinate with your team pretty well. Uh, even if you're not coordinating with your team, it's still useful. It has the Gon 6. The Vector's really good. Has, I believe, stuns or claymores. So, good all around op. Yeah, Vector just hits really He hard. also has impact. Piece. Oh, yeah, that's true. All right, Maverick's next. I am putting Maverick. Uh, I gonna put Maverick at C. He used to be A for me, but losing the nades kind of lowered. How much I play him now, just because, you know, sometimes it's just not. I mean, you make a hole in the wall, throw a nade in, you get rid of whatever's preventing. Yeah, that's you what made it. I mean, I still pull him out every now and then. Basement or or not Oregon chalet, basement chalet. I just go in the trench, make a little hole hole in that side wall, try to get him going from connector. But he used to be a lot stronger, but I think he's downgraded. Since his nerves. Yeah, I think he's a D for me. I don't like his guns. I don't really. His gadget is hard to use because if you're in sight of your holes, people will just shoot you. I have done it several times. Yeah, and the lineups from the holes both ways are kind of wonky yeah. sometimes. And if you try to peek your own hole, most of the time it's dangerous because you're just going to get your head shot. Yeah. The M4 is good, though. I like the M4. I wish they would reuse it. Uh, I've never really played Maverick a whole lot, so I haven't really got used to the gun. So I think that's the main reason why I don't like him that much. Yeah, I want him to reuse the M4 and then Gridlock's gun. Those are the two Cause... I wish. All right, your next one is Montaigne. Montaigne is... I'd say a high C level. Just because he's not like the greatest op, but it's fun to do like plant strats with him. Yeah, he is fun to play. I am going to put him at C as well. Uh, he is fun to play. You can pull him out. You got smokes. The worst thing about Montaigne is when you're left in those 1v4, 1v5s situations, it's almost impossible to clutch up. Yeah, you just have to have time on your side. All right, not is the next one i'm gonna put well at uh do i want to do a or b i don't know you probably would put in her at a because you play her more often she is a i am gonna put a she has the nades her gadget's good Especially depending on what site, you know, I use her a lot. Freezer, Oregon. Uh, nades. Guns, decent. Uh, I know they nerfed it. I don't know if it was this season or last season. Nerfed it a little bit. So, you can't really use the suppressor on it anymore. You have to put an actual... I want to say flash rider is what I usually use. Because yeah. long range, that gun is a little rough to use. But yeah, that guy's just sure. good. You get sneaky with it, kind of sneak up on people, get in, get a couple entries. I think, I think I put her at C tier just because I don't play her. Yeah, hardly ever. I uh, I think she's a C over a D just because she has nades and yeah. a decent gun. One that can be one out. decent gun. Her other gun is awful. Yeah. All right, Nomad is the next op for you. Uh, Nomad, I probably would put S tier. I think both of her guns are pretty decent. The ARX is definitely better. 
her gadget is great and i think she's just an s tier op yep i agree i'm gonna put put nomad in s as well uh that's probably my go-to solo queue uh there for a while that was mine too oh how nutty would that be if she got like hard reach gadgets or something or smokes god smokes would be awesome <laughs> But I like using her a lot. She's good. Get those rotates locked down. She's, just, she's got soft reach gadgets and claymores. Is that what she has? Or no, flashes. Yeah, flashbangs. Okay, next one. Osa. Osa, I'm putting at S. Shields are really good. Guns, really good. Has smokes. Has claymores. Have impact EMPs. Get in there, get plant down, good post plant op. I like Osa a lot. I would have put Osa at S, but I think I gotta go A. Put her A. Just because people literally can impact your shield and kill you at in, within a half a second. Because you can't get your gun back out fast enough to fight. Yeah, and the like if you get caught with the shield in your hand and you don't have like a corner to go around and you have to switch to your yeah shield, you're, you're kind you're of you're screwed around. all right since is your next one uh probably d just because i think his gadget is kind of funky um it doesn't ever seem to work properly like the way that you would want it to because it bounces off of everything yeah causes it to go in directions that you don't mean it to yeah. uh, i don't like his gun very much and he just he's not an op that i really play at all yeah i'm gonna put d as well all right sledge the next one i'm gonna put sledge at a uh gun super good i wish they would give him back to smg 11 i don't understand why they took the smg 11 away uh good vertical uh has nades so that's about all you need for an A tier. Just give him nades and it's A tier for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no joke. Uh, I think I'm going to put him at S tier just because Sledge is just a comfortable answer. Yeah. The gun is he, just so good, though. That his gun is really good. Um, it does suck that he doesn't have the SMG 11, especially now that I actually use that gun. Yeah. Um, having nades is great. His sledgehammer is it's good soft destruction, good for hatches and Fun little meme if you can kill somebody with it. Yeah. All right, Thatcher is your next one. Thatcher is also S tier. S tier. Same gun. Yeah, <laughs> it's a great gun. Yeah. Great gadget. It's still better than Impact EMPs. Didn't it used to destroy gadgets? Yeah. It didn't just. Okay, yeah. I wish it still did that because it makes it better. <laughs> That's why I'm putting Thatcher A. Good gun. Very useful. Has what Claymore and Hard Breaches. So I like soft, using them. Soft breaches. I think he has hard breaches. Yeah, soft breaches, not hard breaches. Sorry. Uh, just if you don't like, unless you know it's a duo. If you're solo queuing and trying to use Thatcher, yeah. So people... many people don't time it right, and it just yeah. fucks it up. So it's gonna be A for me when I get to use them. Yeah, I. I've played him. I think he's my most played op. That's, I think that's the reason why I put him in those tier. Yeah. Uh, Thermite, I'm going A. Uh, I don't I love having the smokes on it. Gun's good. I enjoy using Thermite. It's just when you run into someone that's bandit tricking, it's, it's pretty rough. Yeah, I think I'll go A2. I think his hard breach gadget leaves the best hole. Yeah. At, sure. Like over Ace and stuff. Uh, just because it's just, just a massive hole that you can actually walk through. Especially so playing with an Osa works. An uh, Osa, a Montang, something like that. Yeah. Um, and it's a great gun. Um, one of my favorite guns, actually. Yeah, it is a really good gun. I think, I think he's not an S tier just because he's easier to counter than ace yeah yeah certain maps i'm gonna go towards ace now there is certain ones that i just go thermite 
That's one that if I can get it in the wall and if I have a good smoke spot and then I can plant and I'll probably bring their mine. Yeah, like chalet. Yeah, chalet, even clubhouse going up top. Yeah. yeah. Alright, Twitch is your next one. Honestly, after what they did to her gun, I would probably say D. Did you say D Just or B? D. D. As in dog. Okay. I I never played her a whole lot before. I know she's a good op. I I've just never really cared for her that much. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go D as well. Uh, just because I can't use her guns. I mean, maybe if I tried using the F2, I don't like the 417 or whatever it is. Gadget's good. I mean, there's other options I would choose. Like I said, I would choose Flores over Twitch. Uh, nice that she has smokes, I believe. Maybe if she had hard breach gadgets, that would be pretty cool. Give you another yeah. all-in-one op. You can get walls on your own, but I don't know, those just ghost guns are kind of... Before the gun got nerfed, I probably would have said maybe B tier because I was starting to get into using Twitch. Yeah, it would mainly have because Thatcher's banned all the time. It would have been B for me just because, which is the F two was really good. Yeah, it was a really good gun. I mean, I guess I could try to use it and get used to it again, but it it's harder. <laughs> yeah. All right, Ying's next. I'm putting Ying at B. Uh, I like using Ying. He's fun to use with certain strats and whatnot. Has smokes, has flashes, has an LMG that's not awful to use. Uh, main reason why I put B is just because I don't know what it is. It's probably the run and gun meta that everyone has adopted with Siege now, but every time I use Ying, and if I'm trying to get in the plant and I throw in a ying, they just run right at me. They just try to run through my ying and try to get me. So yeah, I, I think probably B as well for me. Um, she's annoying to play against. Just because the flashes, you can't hide from them. You can crouch down in the corner all you want. You're still getting flashed. Yeah. But... I, I like her gun, and I I think she's if I I think she's better used as not the planter as the cover, yeah, over the planter, uh, just just because you can you know throw the smokes, throw the candelas, and actually sit there because you don't get flashed by your own candelas, so yeah. you can sit there and look. All right, zero is your next stop. I used to love zero. I just I don't play him a whole lot yeah. anymore. His gun's good. His gadget's good. Um, I think I just have better ops to play, and I, that's the reason I don't play him anymore. So I'll probably say B tier. I agree with the B. That's where I'm putting zero. Gadget's really good. Getting the cams up can help. Uh. Also has is it claymores and hard breach gadgets? I know hard breach gadgets. Yeah, I know that one for sure. That's usually what I run. That's another good one if I'm solo queuing and I need to get the wall. You know, you get your cam in sight somehow and get rid of the bandit or the mute or the cave yeah. or whatever. And his gun's pretty good, so I I like using zero. I just don't use it very yeah, often. I, yeah, I agree. I, I think he's a good op. He's just. You got other, especially since we do Q most of the time, we have other options. Yeah. All right. Zoff is our last one, and I'm putting Zoff. I think I'm going to go B. Just because. I don't know. The LMG, I never really liked using. And they did kind of reverse some of the nerfs on the 7.62 so that gun is kind of back especially with the 1.5 uh so her gadgets can be good you got the soft destruction and then the um, concussions Stunned. can be good 
Especially if you're having to push. I just find myself not using them very often. So she's one that I like using. I just don't use very often. I'll put her at B. Yeah. Um, I, I think I agree with B. I think back before she was nerfed and before she became... Isn't she a three armor now? I think so. And she used to be a two or one armor. Oh, and we're... I think a two. But it just seems like she's way more clunky and annoying to use than used to. And her gun used to be way better. So she used to probably be an S tier op. But I think she's B tier. And she's just kind of fun to just jump on sometimes. Yeah, gun's fun to use after it kind of getting reverted it back a little bit, so. Yeah, and it's one of those, you know, it's like having two gun sixes. You can take out shields and shit with it. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Oh, sure. Well. Did you have any S-tier ops? You have two? I have four. I have four S tier. I have Ace, oh, okay. Ayana, Nomad, and Osa. And you have five S tier with Ace, Gridlock, Nomad, Sledge, and Thatcher. Mm. And then I have two F tier. I have Blitz and Kali, and you have three F tier. You have Blackbeard, Blitz, and Habana. Yeah, I was just mainly shitting on Habana for <laughs> just having by far being the worst hard breacher <laughs> like she's practically useless except for hatches and well, pretty much good on one map for hatches and that's bank <laughs> yeah I would say completely useless alright well that is our personal opinion attacking tier list we are going to do a defending tier list sometime soon uh, but let us know what you think of our tier list. Tell us what you think. What is our biggest hot takes? What is our worst decisions we made? Definitely gridlock for sure. People are just going <laughs> to hate that. That is People probably going to get roasted. Like, what is think, wrong with that I guy? think you're going to get roasted for the Habana thing too. But probably, but she's just a bad hard preacher. <laughs> I guess we'll see. And I guess I'll, I'll probably bring it up whenever we do the defending one, but... Thanks for watching. Let us know how we did. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.